that was a tough car, huh? Mustangs. They're tough. And welcome back to pack 12 of the Gone in 60 Seconds, Eleanor. Let's look at the magazine just here real quick. Flip through the pages. I'll take you through the instructions as we go along in this video. They usually have some very good articles in the back of the magazine. And article here about Eleanor's Great Stunt. Movie Secrets Part 2. 60 Seconds Files. And they talk about some of the cars that are featured in the Gone in 60 Second Movie. 98 Dodge Viper GTS. 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air Convertible. Stephanie. And a Ford Mustang 2 T-Top. Not my favorite body style that Mustang came out with. All right, let's, so let's go ahead and get the parts, and I'll be right back. Stage 43. Stage 44, which is the front end parts. Stage 45. And lastly, stage 46. Let's get started on stage 43. And here's the parts for stage 43. Front wheel housings. And those will just screw in on the front, both sides. And that's what they look like. Going along with this, uh, I would highly recommend you head over to Agora Models and download their GT500 instructions. These cars are very similar and their instructions are a little more detailed than the instructions found here for the Eleanor. Let's look at the parts. Here's the parts for stage 43. Let's look at these a little closer. DSO2 screws, and these are both made of plastic. I'll bring over the chassis and we'll install these. All right, first thing we'll do is we'll install these wibble housings. They are marked with a left and a right. And so we'll go ahead and line them up to where they go on the chassis. And I already lubricated the holes for those. DSO2 two for each and that's good there and that's it there and that's all we do for stage 43 let's head over and do stage 44 Stage 44, we uh, assemble the tie rods and steering rack. There's all the parts. And as you can see here, we'll put in some screws to hold all that together. It's really important that you lubricate everything. That's why I use Vaseline for this. It will stay on there for a while. And then they want us to mount the wheels and tires. Uh, I'm going to leave those off for now. Uh, they will go on a little bit later. Here's the parts for stage 44. Let's get a closer look at them. DSO2 and DSO4 screws. And of course, all the parts here are made of metal. These are very nice. Let's get started. Alright, we'll assemble these tie rods and we'll take the first part here and that's the way it looks there. We're going to put it together just like that. DSO2 screw goes into it. There you go. That's good there. Paying attention to how everything goes together, following the instructions. Lubricate that. 
and DSO2 goes into this. We don't want to over tighten it. Perfect. That's how that looks. Now they want us to mount these on the wheels, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to mount it on the wheels a little bit later. So that's all we do with stage 44. Let's head over and do stage 45. Stage 45, I'll assemble the anti-sway bar brackets and the steering gear. Here's all the parts. Anti-sway bar goes on that bracket we just assembled previous stage. Then we'll uh, install the other bracket that goes on the chassis. Then we install some bracketry on the chassis on each side. And that's all we'll do. Let me get the parts. I'll be right back. Here's the parts for 45. DSO2, DSO4, DSO5, and I sway bar brackets themselves made of plastic. Just like that. And some brackets. And they are the same. They are made of metal. Anti-sway bar goes on just like that. I went ahead and lubricated the hole. We'll put a DSO4 screw into this. And that's good there. Now we'll put the other side on the chassis. Here's the anti-sway bar mount. That's going to go on just like that. We're going to put a screw in on the back side. A PS05. PS05. good there. Next we put in these brackets here and these are like the motor mount brackets and they're gonna go in from underneath on the chassis just like that. And DSO2 screw goes into them. Already lubricated the hole. Hold that in place. DSO2. That's all we do for stage 45. Let's head over and do stage 46. Next I'll work on the final stage for pack 12 and that's stage 46 and I sway bars and there you go. Simply going to screw that down on the front of the chassis. We're going to put some pins into it so it helps it move. Then we'll hook up the front sway bars themselves and like I said I am leaving the tires off that's how that looks so I'll be right back with the parts here's the parts for stage 46 DSO4 PSO8 here's those pins made of metal and here's the suspension component made of plastic Let's get started. All right, here's our suspension component, and that's simply just going to slide down in the front, just like that. And we got to put a couple pins into it to help it move up and down. And you can see the pins are right here. This is one of the pins, and it has um, some grooves here to help hold it in place. We're going to insert it. Make sure it goes through the suspension component, which it did. And then I'm going to take my pliers, these pliers right here, IPS PH 200, and just going to squeeze them. There we go, that's one. So that pin is in, so we're good to go there. The front end, these two parts will just simply go down through those holes, and on the other side, we'll put, we'll put PSO8 screws in right here and right there. 
these screws have a flange and that's good there all right so we'll go ahead and mount the the front wheel and hub onto this and this is going to take a DSO4 it's simply going to go through that part of the suspension and the DSO4 goes into it that's good there and we'll take our anti-sway bar and it's going to mount on top of that it's going to ride the track actually it goes underneath so we'll slide that on to that rod and it's going to slide underneath and then our front tire and there goes in right there on top of the suspension that's good there and it slid in underneath just like it should be and that's how it goes back and forth do the other side and we'll get that on there and put the DSO4 screw into that and perfect that's how that works there Okay. now this front suspension is very fragile it doesn't uh, support weight very well so you want to be very careful with it I would also suggest if you're ever going to transport this car when it's finished take the wheels off of it all four corners and then put it in a you know a, a, a nice packed surface or styrofoam or whatever to prevent the suspension from breaking whenever you're transporting it so that's all we do with and that completes stage 46 having a lot of fun building this this is just like the GT 500 which I enjoyed very much I would recommend you head over to Agora Models and download the instructions for the GT500 because they are a little more detailed than the instructions for this build here. So stay tuned for pack 13. I am having a blast doing this. If you like my content, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Happy modeling everybody and take care.